All the images you see here were generated with an AI image generator, using the text-to-image feature, which, surprisingly, is completely free. More importantly, it has the potential to compete with some of the world's top art generators, and even surpass them in certain areas. In this video, I'll teach you how to use an entirely free AI, which, with just a few simple words, can turn your ideas into masterpiece images in realistic, anime, line art, or even Pixar animation styles. Incredible, right? Watch this tutorial carefully until the end, as I'll be sharing many golden, key tips along the way. Let's dive in and start creating. Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel First, we visit the Paklumen AI website. As of the time this tutorial was published, all features on this website are completely free and without any restrictions. We need to create a user account. I click on the Launch App button located at the top right corner of the website. In the Account Creation section, you can choose to sign up using a personal email, Apple account, or even a Google account. I prefer to click on the Google option. On the next page, I select one of my Gmail accounts and log in. I've uploaded tutorials for this AI on the Amon Global channel before, but since the interface of this website has changed a bit, it's naturally necessary to have a new tutorial for it. On the bottom left corner of the website, by clicking on the three-dot icon next to your user profile image, a drop-down list appears containing options for your user profile, settings, and activities on the website. The logout option is at the bottom of this list. Just above the profile section, by clicking on the dark drop-down list, you can switch the Paklumen website interface between light and dark modes based on your preference. I select the light option and continue with this interface. Next, the Paklumen AI image generator interface is available in several official languages. To change the language, I click on the English option. In the drop-down list, you can change the website language to Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, French, and several others. After logging in, we are directly directed to the Explorer section. This page is essentially a gallery of user images created using the Paklumen AI image generator. By clicking on any image, a new page opens that displays the image in larger size, along with more details about how that image was created. On the right panel of the new page, the model used to generate this image is shown. A bit lower, you'll see the Remix button. By clicking on this, all image data, such as the prompt, negative prompt, dimensions, style, and model used to generate the image, will enter a new generation process. And with this same information, you can create completely new images that will be slightly different from the original image, but still maintain the structure and essence of the first one. A bit further down, you'll even see the prompt used to generate the image. By clicking the copy prompt icon, you can copy this prompt and use it for your own work. A little further down, by clicking on the negative prompt section, additional information, such as image dimensions, seed number, and the image creation date, will also be displayed. In the Explorer section, at the top of the images, tabs are provided for categorizing images. This helps you browse images within a specific category. I click on the woman category, and as you can see, the images are now only from this category. To turn our ideas into text-to-image creations in Paklumen, I click on the Create option in the left menu. In the Create section, at the top, there is a text box to enter the prompt. Let's start by testing the AI's ability to generate images of famous people. I've already written a prompt, so I'll paste it into the text box with a right click. This prompt is based on generating an image of Taylor Swift. A prompt is basically your idea written in text, and the AI turns it into an image. You should write your ideas in detail. The more complete your idea, the better the AI will understand your needs, which results in a better image creation that aligns more closely with your idea and prompt. In the top right corner of the prompt box, there is an auto-translate icon, which means that you can even write your prompt in your native language, and this option will automatically translate it into English for you. Next to the auto-translate icon, there is another icon called Prompt Enhance, which is for improving image quality by expanding your prompt words. The quality is improved at the expense of accuracy. However, 
It's important to note that these two options are not available in the free plan and are only accessible to premium users. In the top right corner, next to the prompt box, there is a model select icon. This drop-down list contains all the models currently available in the Peclumen AI image generator for generating images in various styles. In this tutorial, we will test all of the Peclumen AI's image generation models with different examples so we can understand what each one is used for. For our first test, since we want to generate a realistic image of a famous person, I choose the Peclumen Realistic V2 model. Afterward, I click on the aspect ratio icon. In this list, you can select whether you want your image to be square, vertically rectangular, or horizontally rectangular. If you are creating content for social media platforms like Instagram or TikTok, vertical and even square dimensions are better, since your audience will view it on mobile devices. However, if you are creating content for platforms like YouTube or Vimeo, horizontal options are more suitable. Since I am making a long video for YouTube, I naturally choose the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Next, I click on the batch image count icon. You can choose the number of images you need per generation, ranging from 1 to 4. Recently, changes have been made to the Peclumen AI image generator. And one of these changes is that, in the free plan, you can now select between 1 and 2 images per generation. The options of 3 and 4 images per generation are reserved for paid plans. This is not a limitation, as you can still use this AI freely and unlimitedly. However, if you need more features, you can consider upgrading to the paid plans, which, in my opinion, are really valuable. I click on the advanced settings icon in the top right corner. In this section, we have access to the negative prompt feature. Here, you can specify what you don't want to appear in the generated image. For example, if you don't want any tattoos in the image, you can type that, and the AI will avoid including tattoos. After making these adjustments, I click on Submit. My request is placed in the queue, and after just a few seconds, the images are ready, and two thumbnails are displayed. To view the images in larger size, I click on one of the thumbnails. On the right panel, by clicking on the image thumbnails, I can access all of them and browse through them. The text-to-image feature in Peclumen's Realistic V2 model performs incredibly well, and the images of Taylor Swift created in such a short time are truly stunning. By hovering the mouse over the image thumbnail, you'll see a trash can icon on the left to delete the image, and a download icon on the right to save the image to your device for free. Can we generate artistic images with Peclumen AI? Let's check this with an example. I paste the second prompt into the text box. This prompt is for generating an image of a goddess of beauty. I click on the model select icon and choose the Peclumen Art V1 model, which is said to generate artistic images well. With the same settings from the previous step, I click Submit. My request is placed in the queue, and after a few seconds, two thumbnails are displayed. As you can see, the Peclumen Art V1 model has done well and the new images are truly mesmerizing. I'm tempted to download them. With Peclumen AI, you can even create anime images. Let's test this together. For this, I have already written a prompt, and I paste it into the text box. I open the Model Select drop-down, and choose the Peclumen Anime V2 model. I click Generate. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short wait, two anime-style images are ready. By clicking on one of the thumbnails, we can browse the images in larger size. As you can see, the AI performed well in generating images in this case as well. The style is anime, and I'm absolutely amazed by this result. Peclumen AI also has the capability to generate images in the line art style. This style means designs with simple lines and no shading, often used to create minimalistic and sleek images. In this example, I'll generate an image of a Lamborghini in line art style. I type the word Lamborghini into the prompt box. I open the model select drop-down, and choose the Peclumen Line Art V2 model. I click Submit. My request is placed in the queue. After a few seconds, two thumbnails are displayed. We browse through them. As you can see, in this case, Peclumen AI performed well, and the Line Art style images are truly unique, which I find incredibly impressive. A lesser known model among general users, called Pony Diffusion V6, is also available in Peclumen AI. Let's talk about it. What is Pony Diffusion V6? Pony Diffusion is one of the most popular AI models for generating anime-style images. It stands out for its exceptional ability to understand text prompts and its remarkable mastery of anime aesthetics. I'm excited to share that Peclumen, in collaboration with Purple Smart AI, has fine-tuned this model and made prompt editing simpler 
and more accessible. You can now experiment with it effortlessly and explore your creativity. For this, I've written a prompt in advance and pasted it into the text box with a right click. I open the model select drop down and choose the Pony Diffusion V6 model. With the same settings from the previous step, I click Submit. After a few seconds, two thumbnails are displayed. By clicking on one, we can browse through the images. In this case, Piclumen AI has done an interesting job. The images have an anime-like style, but also a unique and distinct feel that really stands out. Now, the real surprise has arrived. The Flux model, one of the newest and most impressive technologies in the world of AI image generation. This masterpiece was developed and released by the Black Forest Labs team. This model, which comes in various versions like Pro, Dev, and Schnell, has an exceptional ability to create images. The exciting part is that through Paclumen's art generator, you have access to the free version Flux Schnell. Flux Schnell is a version of Flux designed for developers. Let's generate an image using the Flux Schnell model and Paclumen AI. For this, I have already written a prompt, and I paste it into the text box with a right click. This prompt is about generating an image of a beautiful girl. I select the Flux Schnell model from the Model Select dropdown. With the same previous settings 16 to 9 aspect ratio and 2 images, I click Submit. My request is placed in the queue. After a short wait, the text-to-image process is completed with the Flux Schnell model, and the thumbnails are displayed. We browse through them. As you can see, the generated images are absolutely stunning. The Flux Schnell model has gained a lot of attention and offers many features. At this stage, I want to generate cartoon-style images with Paclumen AI using the Flux Schnell model. For this, I have prepared a prompt in advance, and I paste it into the text box with a right click. This prompt is about generating an image of Dwayne Johnson in a cartoon style. As you can see in the prompt text, I included the words 3D cartoon style in the prompt. This way, the AI understands the style you want. With the same previous settings, I click Submit. My request is placed in the queue. After a very short time, two thumbnails are displayed. I repeated this generation multiple times, and you can see the results. Let's browse through them. The images are in a cartoon style, and I'm really thrilled by the result. I can't get enough of them. I'm very satisfied with these animated style images and download them. There's so much more you can do with this AI, and in future tutorials, you can look forward to more surprises. In the next test, I want to generate an image of a location with the Flux Schnell model and Paclumen AI. For this, I have already written a prompt, and I paste it into the text box with a right click. This prompt is about generating an image of the Grand Canyon. The Flux Schnell model is selected, and with the same settings, I click Submit. My request is placed in the queue. After a short wait, two thumbnails are displayed. We browse through them. As you can see, this model has a proper understanding of locations, and the generated images are absolutely breathtaking. In the next test, I want to generate an image of a car with the Flux Schnell model and Paclumen AI. For this, I've written a prompt in advance, and I paste it into the text box with a right click. This prompt is about generating an image of a Lamborghini in a snowy landscape. With the same previous settings, I click Submit. My request is placed in the queue. After a short wait, two thumbnails are displayed. We browse through them. As you can see, the images are stunning, with the red Lamborghini in the white snowy landscape creating a perfect frame and color composition. In the next test, I want to completely change the style and see if we can generate cyberpunk style images with the Flux Schnell model and Paclumen AI. For this, I have already written a prompt, and I paste it into the text box with a right click. This prompt is about generating an image of a car in a cyberpunk setting. With the same previous settings, I click Submit. My request is placed in the queue. After a short wait, two thumbnails are displayed. We browse through them. As you can see, the images are absolutely insane. The buildings and cars are generated with the unique color palette found in a cyberpunk atmosphere. A key question. If you learned something new from this tutorial, it's time to hit the like button with full force. New tutorials on AI are coming soon and will surprise you. If you want to make your learning journey even more exciting, subscribe now and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a tutorial. Remember, AI is the future, and it's time to embrace it now. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. We're going to rock it!